In this quick tip video, we're going to have a look at the today view on the left hand panel, which was part of the new update for iPad OS. And when I first got it, I really liked it. And then I did an update and it went away and I got a little bit confused about how to access it and bring it back and being able to flick it off or have it pinned there. So let's have a look at the different options about how we can do this. Right now I can see all the different things like weather and upcoming events in my calendar, different things that I've been looking at and my battery percentage and things like that. The way I have it set up at the moment is I can have my today view on the left hand side panel and I can also see a lot of my different app icons. I'm able to flick this to the side if I want to just view my apps. To have a look at the three different views that you can have with Today View, let's tap on settings. Go down to where it says home screen and dock and tap on that. Now at the moment, mine is tapped on more and you can see a little animation playing where it's moving the Today View to the side and back again. You might want to decide that you don't really want that or a larger view. So if I tap larger and then flick up to go back to my screen, you can see that my today view is gone. If I move my finger to the left hand side of the screen and drag across, my today view panel comes back as a slide over, but it's not pinned there. And then I can push it back again. Let's go back into settings. Now, if you look down the list, it says today view, keep today view on home screen, which means it'll pin there. At the moment, it's grayed out because I have it on a larger view. So I need to go back and tap more. Now I can toggle this keep today view on home screen. Let's flick up and go back. Now you can see that the today view has come back again. If I try and shift it, you can see that the whole home screen is moving with the today view. The first one I showed you, the Today View was able to move back and forth onto the screen with ease. So if you go back into settings and you toggle this off and then go back to your home screen, I can then flick it off and flick it back on. There are three ways then that I can view my home screen. The first way I can flick my Today View off and back on again. The second way is having the Today View pinned in place and I can't move it. And the third way is having the Today View flick on and flick off as a slide over. Now it just depends on your personal preference as to how you'd like your screen to be set up. I really like being able to have my Today View on the side, but being able to move it off and then move it back on again.